G'day guys and gal, there is a shitload of different guardsmen regiments. Some apparently forgot they were in a sci-fi setting as they charge enemy gun lines on horseback. Others just really love tanks. Then there's the weirdos who have a fetish for death while uh, cosplaying as questionable historical figures. However, there is the default guardsman that we've all seen and killed time and time again. Green armor, helmet, las gun. Well, only in 40K would this default guardsman type actually turn out to be the most badass mother lovers in the entire galaxy, bred for war on a fortress planet that has kept the forces of hell at bay for 10,000 years. These default skins are the unbreakable men and women of Cadia, a regiment so well trained and revered that they're sent across battlefields all across the galaxy, so tenacious that even when their planet broke, they themselves did not. Only 40K could somehow make the most generic, commonplace looking guardsman arguably the most badass. Before we get started, life can be kind of hard and time consuming sometimes. There's just like a lot of shit going on. The best things I've personally done for myself to sort this out is to simplify and streamline everything I can. The biggest of those being food. What if I told you that there was a way to eat more delicious, higher protein, healthier food with no prep time and next to no post feeding cleanup required? All of that for cheaper than your current food. You'd probably call me a lying drongo. But cheers to today's sponsor, Factor, that is a complete reality. Factor works by pre cooking these amazing gourmet meals, sealing them and sending them to your doorstep. Then all you need to do is microwave them and bam, you are having an S tier meal at no effort. The food variety is nuts, so you'll never get sick of it. And you can even choose what meals you want to get. Now some microwave meal brands freeze their meals so it loses its freshness, but not Factor. This stuff tastes like it came straight from the kitchen. However, the best part about all of this is that by using my link or code POGMAJORKILLNOV60, you'll get a massive 60% off on your first box. That is an unbelievably good discount and you would actually have to be a bit of an idiot to not at least try one box at that rate to see if you like it. It has been a massive game changer for me and I know for a fact that any of you that sign up won't regret it in the slightest. Cheers to Factor for sponsoring this video. Today we'll be going over the Guardsmen of Cadia, detailing the rise of Cadia, the process of creating a Cadian warrior, some of their spiciest battles and what the Cadians are currently up to since their homeworld went kaput. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Although Cadia would become the mother of all fortress worlds, second only to Terra in its might, her origins were much more humble, that origin being getting exterminatist. See, the original natives of Cadia were primitive chaos worshipping savages. They heard the whispers from the Eye of Terra and drank that Kool Aid. The only real similarity these Cadians had with the modern day ones is their violet eyes, as a result of both cultures getting cum blasted with warp energy from the Eye of Terra. The world of Cadia was discovered by Lorgar during his midlife crisis, when he went on his pilgrimage to discover if the Chaos Gods were actually real, and if so, did they deserve his worship? After arriving on Cadia, he was given a tour of the Eye of Terror by one of the Cadian priestesses, who was also, you know, a demon prince. After having this tour and becoming a fucking heretic, Lorgar decided that he had to mask his tracks and not let anyone know about his newfound allegiance, so he bombed Cadia with cyclonic torpedoes, killing everything on it, but not its mysterious pylons. The heresy happens, people die, cheeks are clapped, and the traitors are forced to retreat into the Eye of Terror to avoid the loyalist onslaught. The Loyalists didn't chase the traitors into the eye for good reason. It would have been suicide as we saw with the severely spurgy abyssal crusade that would come on later. So instead of chasing them into hell, the Imperium began colonizing and fortifying all the sectors surrounding the eye. Foremost was Cadia, as due to the Cadian slash Necron pylons, it was the only reliable route that a large military force could take out of the eye. However, the Imperium had a lot of lessons to learn. It initially treated Cadia like an average Imperial world with average buildings, buildings the traitor legions laughed at as they steamrolled everyone. When the Chaos forces were eventually repelled, Cadia was restructured, becoming one big fortress with bunkers, trenches, big guns, and absolutely everything everywhere. No matter where your invasion force would land in Cadia, it would be heavily defended. The attitude of the people changed as well. Instead of military service just being like an option like most Imperial worlds, it became mandatory. At age 5, Cadians had already mastered stripping, cleaning and reassembling a LAS rifle. Age 6, they were crack shots. And before their 7th birthday, they were all taught about the dangers of chaos, the warp and psychers. Basically, Cadia was Israel on steroids. The nuts thing about this is that most Imperial citizens aren't allowed to know about chaos or the warp. Entire worlds have been genocided after a chaos incursion to act as a cover up but Cadians are privy to Inquisitor level secrets while they are still a child. I mean, it makes sense. After all, you can literally look up and see a gaping butthole in the sky leading to hell. That combined with the mutation, chaos cult and psycho rate on Cadia being super high means that it's very practical for Cadians to be in the know. This also means they end up being quite resistant to chaos as they know what they're trying to resist. So began the origin of the elite Cadian shock troopers. 
men and women born and raised for war, specializing in killing the literal forces of hell. It's no wonder why they are the go-to guardsman regiment. A benefit of having an entire planet of warriors is that they are always fucking and breeding, creating a massive stream of recruits that are in constant demand across the galaxy. The prevalence of the Cadian shock troopers ties directly to the actions of chaos. During the War of the Beast, the Age of Apostasy, and all those thousands of cooked years where, where chaos just kinda licked its wounds while either Xenos or the Imperium tried to fuck itself, the Cadian shock troopers were kinda sidelined, watching shit happen from afar as they continued their vigil. However, since Chaos got all horny for violence in the 41st millennium, the Cadian Shock Troopers have been the first and foremost Guardsman Regiment to deal with it. They have driven back Astartes as mere mortals on numerous occasions, defeating the Black Legion, Night Lords, Red Corsairs, and most of the other famous Arsal Astartes. They've crushed countless Chaos Uprisings around the Cadian Gate, fought off Eldar Raids. Madlats have even taken on Chaos Titans, sometimes winning. They may not have the suicidal devotion of the Death Corps, nor the spicy tactics of the Elysians, but they have time and time again demonstrated their valor and reliability the ultimate jack of all trades regiment. So what is actually unique about them compared to other regiments? What culture, tactics or training do they get that sets them apart? Well, unlike numerous other regiments who serve in their respective planetary defense force for a while until they are drafted into the Imperial Guard, often begrudgingly, the Cadian regiment is a bit more strict and considered a massive honor, despite, you know, pretty much everyone doing it. First, they serve in their PDF. Then when they join the Cadian shock troopers, they have to put on their training wheels and have a white stripe on their helmet. These white shield Cadians, as they're called, need to survive active combat on a battlefield before they are fully eligible to consider themselves a part of the Cadian shock troopers. This means every single generic Cadian guardsman you have ever seen has either survived getting shot or swung at, then most likely gone on to take a life, if not dozens. For Cadians, there is no greater purpose than military service. Their command structure has been simplified, so that the unit doesn't lose much cohesion when someone with a big hat gets shot in the face. Most of the time, a Cadian regiment is commanded by a noble-born son or daughter of Cadia, generally a colonel. This is usually all the command structure they need. However, especially fuck-off massive battlefields will bring in other ranks, such as Lord General Militants and that fun stuff. Other than the Colonel, Commissars are very common amongst the Cadians, however not because they need to maintain courage via spontaneous executions. It's very rare that a Cadian needs a bulk gun to the face to motivate his comrades. No, Commissars are more so there to ensure discipline as well as to look out for signs of corruption, something Commissars are generally experts at. As I said before, Cadia was getting cum blasted by the Eye of Terror's influence, so there was always a shitload of chaos cults and uprising happening all the time. The reason why I flag discipline as a potential issue is because a lot of the Cadians have this dry, cynical humor as a result of being the first line of defense against hell, so they can kind of, you know, crack jokes at inappropriate times. Hey, maybe I'm Cadian. The greatest of the Cadian warriors are inducted into the Kaskarin elite. Stormtroopers are the elite version of most guardsmen regiments. However, as Cadia is a tier above the others, Kaskarin are a tier above stormtroopers. They are totally unbreakable and disciplined, trained to the pinnacle of human capability and then some, slightly augmented to push them even further. They've also had some brain editing, which means they're physically incapable of friendly fire against specific high value allies. Whenever they have their gun trained on someone important on their team, such as a commander or inquisitor, they are physically unable to pull the trigger, meaning you can be having a hectic sword fight with a bunch of cultists while a team of Kaskarin are absolutely hosing down the battlefield and not a single bullet will clip you. Even as the heretic in front of you gets shredded by Hellgun fire. It was for these reasons that Eisenhorn was accompanied by the Kaskarin when he went to confront a powerful demon host. For context, a demon host can fuck up an Astartes and have been known to kill Titans. On top of this, their gear is top tier, fully enclosed suits meaning they can fight in the void or in toxic environments, as well as them using hell guns, the elite version of the standard loadout. Sometimes their sergeants will even wield power swords not to be fucked with. So what are the Cadians currently up to? Well, as we know, their planet broke before the guard did. Abaddon's 13th Black Crusade peaked with him throwing a Blackstone Fortress at Cadia like a big ass meteor, cracking open the planet and killing most of the people on it. Some were able to escape, whilst millions more Cadians were at different battle zones in the galaxy. So this didn't spell the end of the Cadian shock troopers. They did, however, lose a lot of people, their planet, and their Lord Commander. Since then, they have actually somewhat settled on a new world, naming it New Cadia. And whilst this does mean that Cadian shock troopers will continue to grace the setting in large numbers, it also means that if they are able to survive a few hundred or thousand years, their culture will largely be erased. Their violet eyes will fade and their constant need for vigil and training that was essential on Hell's doorstep will diminish. 
Cadia and its people were killed when Abaddon destroyed them. They just haven't accepted it yet. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then Patreon is the place to be, where there is not only a shitload of nude cosplay photos, but also a boatload of Battle Mace 40 million hentai. Hit the subscribe button and hit the real subscribe button for more Canadian content. Join the Discord for more memes and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.